Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So remember I made this the other day. Um, it was a flip out file folder made from pretty file folder um, outer cover. And um, I want to use the remainder of that file folder that I cut down in order to create that. So here is the rest of that file folder. So let's just put it back into perspective. Here is that file folder. I went ahead and cut this section off and this is what I was left with after making this. So I wanted to do something with the remainder of that file folder. So what I want to do is uh, probably make some journaling cards, some really large journaling cards. I think it'll look really great in the folders that I made. So here are some really large journaling cards. They're about the same size. These are the folders that I that I created from the remainder of some other file folders. And um, I gave you the measurements and scored them and, um, you know, cut and glued, glued them together. So this is, um, these are some journaling cards that I already had in my journal. I made them specifically for the journal. There's that stamp that I was trying to stick on, on the um, small little tags that I made the, uh, earlier. But I want to do something with the remainder of this card, this uh, file folder. So easiest thing I could think of is um, I'm going to grab my large scoreboard. And this measures, uh, well, from what I cut off, this measures eight and three quarters by seven and a half. So these would be fairly large cards. Okay, so it already has its natural fold line here. I'm just gonna fold this section into that fold line and crease it with my bone folder okay so now I have this and this if you don't have or if you only have cardstock let me just give you the measurement so again it's eight and three quarters the full sheet by seven and a half and when you fold it over it's now four and three eighths by seven and a half okay right there four and three eighths by seven and a half so now you have this. I'm going to use my small guillotine and I'm going to cut this off here. Okay. So now I have this and I'm just going to even up that cut just a sliver that I needed to take off okay so that's all I removed and now I have this cute little could be a little mini journal okay but I'm going to cut this in half because I want to make two journaling cards doing this to me <laughs> papers stuck in my scoreboard okay all right so that didn't work out so well on one side because my paper got stuck in the scoreboard so I'm just gonna have to cut off a sliver on this side as well okay and now we have these two cards all right I'm gonna put one aside and work on one right now and with this card um, let's see in my head this is about as far as I got <laughs> unfortunately I don't even know what I'm gonna do now I think I'm going to get some craft paper and mat it on here 
so here is my craft card I'm just going to mat this on here first I'm going to round my corners I'm going to use my medium uh, seven millimeter size corner rounder okay and I'm just going to eyeball measure this all the way around giving it about an eighth of an inch on all four sides so again this is just an estimate um, eighth of an inch measurement that I'm putting here I'm going to cut it a little large because you can always cut more but you can never put it back so I'm just using my um, journaling card as a guide okay so that's what I've removed from it so far so let's just see how this measures up um, I think that's pretty good. It's a little more than an eighth of an inch. It's probably about a quarter of an inch all the way around, and I'm okay with that. I'm, I think that still looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. glue stick okay and I'll put a little PVA glue in the four corners just to make sure that everything gets glued and again I'm just eyeballing this hoping that I get it even I'm going to round the corners of the craft paper Oops. and now we have this okay so on the back here would be a great space for journaling all right and on the front here I'm going to I cut these little tags or tabs um, from you know scraps of the file folder so I just ran these through my um, Sizzix and I'm just going to place a little tab on the edge here let me see Okay, so let's see if I have a bigger one. I think I cut them all the same size, just about. Yeah, okay. So I'll put my cover back on my glue, and I'm just going to glue a tab onto the edge.
so now we have that little tab on the edge right there I just thought of something else I can do so here's the other side to that um, file folder that I cut and what I want to do is I'm going to put the tab on before I mat it so let's see if I can round my corners first okay. and now I'm going to place the tab onto this card before I mat it so we'll see how that looks So now there's that. Let me grab another piece of um, cardstock to mat this side onto. Hmm, interesting. Um, I thought I cut that down. I'll just grab another piece of cardstock. I think this was cardstock. Yeah, this was cardstock that I used on this one. So let me just grab another piece of cardstock and I'll be right back. All right, all I did was grab the full sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, and I cut it down a little bit larger than this card. So my tab is already glued on. I'm going to estimate about, um, about a quarter of an inch all the way around again. I'm just going to use my pencil this time and my ruler if I can get it out. Just going to use my pencil and ruler and try to measure get a more precise quarter of an inch because it will matter on this one and I'll tell you why in just a moment so line it up there at seven there is a quarter and place a quarter on this side okay and place a quarter on this side and then I also have to cut a quarter around the tab so I'll line that up at five and mark actually I think I'm doing about an eighth yeah, I'm not going to do a quarter of an inch. I'll do an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this straight. I'm going to cut this straight, but I'm going to um, have to cut around my tab up here. So let me do that and show you what I mean. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to cut this off straight. Okay, I have my pencil mark in place it's on the line okay so now that's gone over here I'm going to reline this back up and I'm just going to mark around this very lightly with my pencil Okay, so I'm going to place it back on the line and I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch away from where that tab would be all right so now we have that let me erase my pencil mark 
And now I'm going to glue this down here. And I'll use my scissor to cut up to that tab. This one takes a little bit longer to do, but I think it's going to look just a little bit more polished and finished. So let me just grab my glue stick. Just adding some Scotch Create glue stick all the way around. This is a permanent adhesive and it should hold pretty well. And then I will place some PVA glue in the corners again just to make sure that everything stays in place. This takes the longest as putting my pen back in my glue. <laughs> oh my gosh, this takes the longest. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to flip this over. Move that out of the way. And I'm going to apply this, giving a generous quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch top and bottom and on the side. Okay. See if my corner rounder will chomp these corners. I gotta cut that side, chomp that corner. Uh oh, this one might be. Oh, it did it. Okay, but I'm I'm gonna cut that down also. So, all right. So now we have this. Let me uh, use my ruler and my craft knife and see if I can get this pretty straight without cutting it too close. I think I'm going to use my clear ruler this way I can see through it. So, yep, this is so much better. I'm just going to use my craft knife and my clear ruler. I'm just going to cut away the excess right about here. Okay. It's a little wavy up at the top there, but I can fix that with my tiny snips. And I'm just going to cut away at the top there. And Cut this one away. I think my blade is a little loose. It's just wobbling while I was trying to cut, so that may be why I got a wavy line up here on this one. I'm just going to cut this away. Okay. And I'm going to put my blade cover back on and use my. Tiny Tim. <laughs> My Tim holds tiny snips. <laughs> and uh, just cut away some of that and some of this little fuzz that got in the corner there. And then, um, I wonder if my corner rounder will round these corners. Probably not. Okay, so I am going to have to round them myself. All right. And 
perhaps my corner rounder will round this upper corner. Nope, it did not. Let me see if I can get my seven millimeter into here. And if it won't, I will round that corner myself also. Just uh, like so, okay? And I think it'll work on this one. Should work, perfect. All right, so yeah, this one took a little bit longer and it does require some measurements, but it's definitely doable and I think it looks super cute. So you can tell me which one you like better down below, either the one with the tab um, on the outside of the mat or the one where the tab is part of the mat and it's matted in, onto the project. So you can tell me which one you think looks cuter. But this is what the backs look like. So I kind of, I'm leaning towards this. I'm definitely liking the fact that the entire tag is matted including the tab all right but let me know which one you like better i will probably ink these just to give it some distinction so and i will ink all the way onto the card because i didn't ink it first but these are just some ideas that i wanted to get down on video because you know I didn't want to get rid of any of this pretty um, fall folder card and then I still have this whole other half left to use I can work with this so alright guys I'm gonna leave you here I hope you guys have a crafty day and I will talk to you in the next one bye